Julian Tornar, CEO of Zenith Watches, and behind us, mm -hmm. special guest star, Uncle John <laughs> Simonian. Hi, John. Of the watch industry. Hi, John. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. So uh, we're here at 2019. Uh, Basel, incidentally, the Zenith watches are insane this year. They're really cool. So Suzanne, why don't you kick it off? We're going to kick things off with dun, 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 something that you think you've seen before, but yes and no, because there are slight differences. This probably, when you thought you first saw it, was a couple of years ago now? Yeah, 18 months ago. 18 months ago, that's precise, yeah. very nice. September like 2017. That. So it was the Defy Lab and you know there were a lot of uh, naysayers and doubting Thomases at the beginning and I gotta say I, I was one of them. You were, you know, I, I was. confirm. I, I know. know, yeah, we, we had a we had a chat about this and I was yeah, like, an um, argument. Yeah. Well, like, what did you say, nice. what did you say to Julian? I just said I wasn't convinced, but you know, if you weren't convinced you can, can make it a series. Well, did that kind of inspire you? Of course, it put even more pressure on me, you know, <laughs> I had to do it, of course. <laughs> Fantastic. I wasn't convinced about quite a few aspects of the watch and I challenged him on quite a few technical details because, you know, I'm a bitch like that. But uh, but yeah, there's someone who can convince me of Julian. So here we are again this year with the Zenith uh, Defy Inventor. Yes, so change that's a new name. name. Yes, the change in uh, name, but it also comes with a few other changes, namely the, the case, if I'm not wrong, and yes. the frequency of the oscillator. Tell us all about it. Yeah, of course. I mean, the Defy Lab, first of all, we made only 10 pieces, each of them was was unique because we made different colors and it was really a I would say a piece of the research you know mm -hmm. people bought something that was literally coming out of the lab mm -hmm. and that's why we call it Defy Lab now yeah. Defy Inventor we refer to the invention that we had created with this new oscillator and two main differences we went up in frequency from 15 to 18 hertz mm -hmm. and we kept a little hint you know with this bezel in ironith we promised our 10 collectors who acquired the pieces um, 18 months ago that we would never ever use the ironite again for the full case so we only kept it for the bezel like a little hint mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the original exactly. one kind of but it's, ac it's actually great for us to finally say that from Defy Lab uh, is born now the Defy Inventor. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. And I'm going to transition from there for two watches actually. One of the watches sure. is on Julian's wrist and the yep. other one is over here. So I remember, uh, hey, th this is uh, the 50th anniversary of the 1969 fair where uh, the El Primero was launched, right? Correct. You would think that Basel World, because this is such a historic moment, because on one side you had the El Primero, on the other side you had Hoyer, Buren, Hamilton and Breitling. They do some sort of big event, some expose, but they did nothing. They just have sausages. But anyway, here in this booth we're celebrating <laughs> it. And we we have a, a, the perfect celebration for this is the El Primero 21. The El Primero 21, as you guys know, is the El Primero with a 1 one hundredth of a second function. Julian's got a new version of this now in carbon, mm -hmm. but not carbon that's been forged, but carbon that's built, built up in layers. Correct, 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 correct. That's what we wanted. We wanted a special rendering. And when you look at the case, you can visually see the different layers that have been put one on top of the other which means that each case is different because it's irregular and it gives this this very cool rendering. Exactly. Absolutely. So if I you think zoom that's right into the case you can really see that like the different striations of how um, the, the carbon fiber appears when you when you cut it uh, crossways and uh, that's what gives each watch because every watch is going to have a unique sort of um, feel and texture and like kind of pattern to it. What, what's cool, cool about this watch is it's got two oscillators. One is for the, the basic time telling function and the other is for the 1 100th of a second function. Mm -hmm. Right now taking this as a base this year, Zenith has come up with something incredible. Same watch, but featuring two tourbillons for both of the oscillators. And here we go. And this is something, I mean, we wanted to go back into the high complication because we used to do And when I came on board two years ago, mm -hmm. I was often asked, why you leave this, this segment empty? You have legitimacy in high complication. I say, yes, but give me a bit of time because I want to do it in a more contemporary design, which means for us, DeFi. And this year, I'm very happy to come with this world premiere piece because here you have a double tourbillon and you have a hundred of a second chronograph because the base is the Defy 21. So we come with a, a very, very cool piece that will be available this year only in 50 watches, 10 in platinum like the one I'm holding and 40 in carbon, same material like that one. What kind so of price are we looking at? We're right? looking at uh, 120,000 Swiss francs in carbon and 150,000 in, in, in platinum. But in a sense, this is the kind of watch that really focuses and features all of Zenith's like uh, savoir-faire and expertise mm -hmm. is all in one place and you can really kind of see what makes Zenith uh, such a great manufacturer that we Absolutely. all appreciate. So at least uh, in addition to the uh, celebration technically, we also have a celebration in terms of heritage for the uh, wonderful achievement of 1969. Julian, you've got another trilogy. I know you, you showed the first one in January, but this one's also cool because it's in three different types of gold. It, mm -hmm. It's very cool. In January, we showed this box, which is connecting the very first watch from 1969 to the future because exactly. the one thousand of a second doesn't even exist yet. Mm -hmm. And we had this fantastic box. But we also wanted to have some individual watches that would be available for our clients 
So we went to, uh, I would say, a pure revival of the 1969 editions. Rose gold, yellow gold, white gold. Uh, each of them is limited to 50 pieces only, so it's highly limited. And each of these watches will be sold with a very exclusive 50 years warranty, including everything, the service, everything. So basically, the warranty will expire the day you and me, I hope, will be here. We'll celebrate the 100th anniversary <laughs> of the El Primero Movement. Uh, well, I certainly intend to be here. Uh, I'm sure Suzanne will be as well. And, uh, well, and you, you sure. know, we'll see. Of course, we'll, do it. we'll be sitting here. We'll be really old and we'll just smoke exactly some really good weed. It'll, it'll, it'll be, be nice. Here yeah. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> You're digging their heels in. Um, Which yeah. one would you wear, actually? Uh, Personally, I would, I'd go for the rose gold. Yeah. Uh, for such pieces like that, classic, thin, elegant. I, I love I, rose I gold. I kind of like the yellow gold, actually. I, I know she I likes the yellow. Yeah, 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 exactly. We're both yellow. Day. Day. Fight. So the last thing is, uh, guys, just stay tuned because the um, the launch is presented. They're not over. There's going to be some amazing stuff in the third quarter of the year as well. Mm -hmm. We can't tell you too much, but you know, maybe one hand is it's a it's easy and it's breezy. Exactly. Thank you very for much. For sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.